In example four, we're going to solve the system of equations using the graph graphing method. The only difference from this one in example three is that these lines are not given to us in slope-intercept form. So we have to go through and solve for y first. So let's start with the first one. We have 2x plus 3y equal to negative 18. And to solve for y, the first thing we should do is subtract the 2x from both sides. And we get 3y is equal to negative 18 minus 2x. And then we're going to divide everything by 3. And we get y is equal to negative 6 minus 2 thirds x. And now we can go ahead and graph using our slope, which is negative 2 thirds, and our y intercept, which is the point 0, negative 6. So we're going to start by plotting that y intercept, 0, negative 6. And our slope tells us we are going down 2 and right 3, or up 2 and left 3. So let's go in both directions. We'll start by going down 2 and to the right 3. So we get that point, go down 2 and to the right 3 again, and we have the point 6, negative 10. And then we run out of room. There's nowhere else to go. So now we'll go back to our y-intercept and do the opposite. So now we're going to go up and to the left. So do as many points as you can going up 2 and to the left 3. So the point negative 9, 0 is the last one that I can graph. And then get your line as straight as you can. Try to use a straight edge if you have one. Then we're going to go with the second line. So we have the line 4x minus y equal to negative 8. And solving for y, the first thing we need to do is subtract 4x from both sides. And we get negative y equals negative 8 minus 4x. And then we can divide everything by negative 1. So we get a positive y equal to a positive 8 plus 4x. So now we have here a slope of 4 and a y-intercept of 8 or 0, 8. We would like our y-intercept, not our y-intercept, our slope as a, as a fraction. So we can put 4 over 1 to know that we are going up 4 and to the right one. Or we could go down and to the left. We're going to start by plotting our y-intercept, which is the point 0, 8. And then we want to go up 4. But if you look, we can't go up because we've run out of room. So instead, we're going to go down 4 and to the left 1. So plot as many of those points as you can going down 4 and to the left 1. And then draw your line in as straight as you can. And what we're looking for is we're looking for where those two points intersected, which is right here. And that's the point negative 3, negative 4. So we can say that our answer is negative 3, negative 4, where x is negative 3 and y is negative 4. And then when we're done, we always should check to make sure that our answer is correct. So we'll do our check step. Now, I would encourage you to just do your check step on your calculator or just check it quickly in your head. What you're checking is you're going to plug in negative 3 for x and negative 4 for y. So looking at the very first equation, we would have 2 times the x value, which we found to be negative 3, plus 3 times the y value we found was negative 4. And we want to know, is that equal to negative 18? So we plug negative 3 in here, we plug negative 4 in here, and rewrote it. So what I would do is plug this in your calculator, or again, in your head, you've got negative 6 minus 12, which is negative 18. So we know that negative 18 is on the left, and we have negative 18 on the right, so that checks out. And then we have to check the other one. It does not work if you only check one. You must check both. So now we'll check the bottom one over here. So if we check the bottom one, we would have 4 times negative 3. minus a negative 4, and we want to know if that's equal to negative 8. Again, you can plug it into your calculator, check to see if you get negative 8, or do it quickly in your head. You've got negative 12, and then two negatives make that a positive. So negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8. So we know that the second one also works 
now we can say for sure that our answer negative 3, negative 4 does indeed work. Next, what I'd like you to do is pause it and then go ahead and do the try this and unpause it when you are ready to check your answer. If you did the try this correctly, you should have the following work done. If you don't have the answer 5, negative 8, then go back and make sure that you solve for y correctly. So here's the first one, here's the second one, and then check your graphs and make sure you graph them correctly. If you have any questions, let me know. So 